Hi everyone, this is Anne, and this is going to be my January empties video. And I love watching empties videos because by the time you've completely used a product, you have a pretty good feel for what it does and if you like it or not. So starting with body care, I used up two of my baby oils, and I keep these in the shower, and I like to shave with baby oil. And then I also apply it all over my body as a moisturizer before I get out of the shower. It can make the floor of your shower very slippery, so be careful if you use that in the shower. And then I went through two body lotions. And one of them is by Nivea, and it's their Skin Firming Lotion. And the other is by Hemp's, and it is their Age Defying Lotion. And I like both of these really well and have repurchased them already. They both soak in pretty well and hydrate well. And then I went through a Theranem body soap, liquid soap that I used on my body. And I probably would not repurchase this just because it left a little bit of a film on my skin that I didn't like. I used up one of my perfumes and that was La Vanilla. And this was in the coconut vanilla scent. And I do love this perfume. I will repurchase it in the future. I'm just going through the perfumes that I currently own and trying to use them up before I repurchase any. And then I also used up a toothpaste and I like the Plus White Extra Whitening Toothpaste. I find this at Walgreens and Walmart and I love this one. I have already repurchased it and it does a really nice job of keeping stains off my teeth and keeping them nice and white. And then for makeup, I used up three products this month, and one of them was the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. And I do like this setting spray really well and will repurchase that. And then I used up a L'Oreal eyeliner pencil, and this is in the turquoise or teal color, and I love this. I have already repurchased it, and I like this because it kind of brightens up the eye area, and I like to use this to make my blue eyes pop a little bit more. And then I also used up a sample size of the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, and I purchased mine in medium. I do like this, and then I went out and I bought the full size, and I used it a couple days, and when I flipped the mirror over to the 10 times magnification, it looked a little patchy on my skin, and so I did return it. But this was an empty that I used up. And then I have some skincare items that I used up, and one of them is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Hand Cream. And I do like this. It smells really good, and it absorbs quickly and I would repurchase this one. And then I went through one of my Walita Skin Food, and I like this really well. I like to mix mine with Retin-A when I apply Retin-A at night because it really cuts down on the irritation of the Retin-A on my skin, so I have already repurchased that one. And then I went through two oils, and one of them is by Keat Botanicals, and this is their cleansing oil, and I love this oil. You also mix it with the clay exfoliant, and that's why I went through it a little bit faster than their other products that I have, because I'd use it to mix with the clay exfoliant, and then I'd also use it as just a makeup remover. And I do love this. It smells nice, and it really is hydrating and removes the makeup really well. And then I went through one of my frankincense oils, and I already repurchased this. And this is one of four essential oils that I like to use on my face, neck, backs of my hands to help tighten up my skin a little bit. And I did do a video on it. If you haven't seen that video and are interested, I will link it below in the description box. And then I used up one of my Palmer's Fade Creams. And this is the Even Tone Fade Cream. And I purchased mine at Walmart. And it does have 2% hydroquinone. So if you're against that ingredient, you may not want to use it. But I love this, and I mix this with my Retin-A and my skin food at nighttime and apply it to my face, neck, chest, backs of my hands. And I have already repurchased that and love that one. And then I went through my Derma-E Microdermabrasion Scrub. 
And I love this microdermabrasion scrub. It's very fine grit to it and it polishes the skin really nice. And I love this and will repurchase it as well. And then I went through one of my Mayenberg goat milk powders and I make a mask out of this. And what I do is I just add a scoop of it and then a little bit of lemon juice to it and apply it to my face, neck, chest, backs my hands. And it's very hydrating and it does have natural lactic acid in it for exfoliation and I have already repurchased another can of it. And then I used up some hair care items and one of them is the Paul Mitchell Lavender Mint Moisturizing Tea Tree Shampoo. And I like this, it has a nice tingle to it on your scalp and it is very moisturizing for a tea tree shampoo. And I would repurchase this, although I have not yet, but I would, I liked it. And then I went through a Kardashian Beauty dry shampoo. And this is probably my favorite dry shampoo. And it doesn't mat up my hair. I use it in the crown of my hair to back comb and add volume. And most dry shampoos mat up and are a mess. And this does not do that. And I really like this dry shampoo and I have already repurchased it. And then I went through a Theranine conditioner, and this is the Moisture Therapy line. And I do really like this, and I have already repurchased this. And I use this as a daily type of conditioner. And then I went through one of my OGX Keratin, Brazilian Keratin Therapy flat iron sprays. And I like this, I have already repurchased it. And I use several heat protectants on my hair. And this is one of the last ones that I do before I flat iron it. And then I went through a Tresemme hairspray. And this is my favorite hairspray. It's the number four. And I really like this and have already repurchased it as well. Those are the products that I finished up over this last month. If you've tried any of these products, please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. Thank you for watching.